Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these double spiral seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and they're really fun to make and I use only simple stuff, only seed beads and with my step-by-step -step instructions I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find full list of materials links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now I'm going to start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are three colors of 11 o seed beads here. I use ear wires and this is Nemo beading thread which is nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick and this is size D and here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. They are not obligatory only if I should go through the difficult beads. Okay, if you don't have any of these materials, you could check down there the description and there are Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull. And I will make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And here when I pull I pay attention to be between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay, now this is what I have. And I will go here through some beads in this direction. And now guys, what I'm going to take are four silver beads, one black bead and four silvers. Okay, this is what I have on my needle, nine beads. And I'm going to skip the next black bead and go through the following. Okay, here guys, I'm one bead away, okay. And I'm going to take four silver beads, one black, and then four silvers. I skip one bead and go through the following. Then I'm going to take again four silvers, one black, four silvers. I will skip one bead and go through the following. Okay, and now I'm going to continue these three more times. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last three beads, uh, sorry, nine beads from this row. And I pull. Okay. Then in my next step, what I'm going to do, let me pull first tight. 
is go through this middle black bead that is between the silver beads. Okay, I'm going through it. And I'm going to take four red beads, one black and four more black beads. Okay, this is what I have here. And what I'm going to do as I'm exiting here from this front part, I want to go through the back part of my work and through this black bead. And I pull. Now you see I'm exiting out of the front part and I'm going to take four red beads, one black and then again four red beads. Okay guys, and now as I'm exiting from the front side I'm going here at the back side of my work. You see how? Through the black bead. And I'm pulling. Then I'm taking three more red beads, one black and, sorry, four more red beads and then one black and four more. And I'm going back from the back side of my work through this middle black bead here, like this. And then I pull. Okay. Now guys, I think you get the idea. Take 9 beads, 4 red, 1 black and 4 reds and then go from the back side. Repeat this 3 times and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last 9 beads from this row. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, then in my next step, I want to go through all of those four beads here in this direction. And then I want to exit through this black bead. And now what I want to do is take eight black beads. Okay, I have my eight here. And I'm going in this black one, skipping the silver, the silver loop here and go in the red one. Okay, in the black again. Now I'm going to take eight more black beads. Okay, eight. Skipping the silver one and going here at the red. Okay, then 8 again and don't worry it looks not very good at this stage, it will start looking really better. Okay, I have 8 beads, skip the silver and go here in the black one of my red loop, okay? And now I'm going to repeat this 3 more times. Okay, and I'm adding here my last 8 beads from this row. And now what I'm going to do is reposition my thread. Because what I want to do is go through these red beads and exit through the silver beads. Okay. My goal is to exit out of this sil silver loop of beads and in this middle black bead. Okay, this is my goal. 
Now guys, I want to take eight of these beautiful black beads. Okay, eight like I did before. And as I'm exiting from this front part of my work, I will go from the back and in this black bead where my silver beads are. And when I pull, you see I have something like a spiral forming here, okay? Then I'm going to take eight more. Okay, I have my eight. I skip this red one here and go in the back and through this black one where the silvers are and pull and you see I have here something like a spiral then I'm going to take eight and go here at the back and through this black one you see how my beautiful spiral is forming here at the edge and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here I finished my circle. Now you could go around the edges reinforcing your work and you see how this beautiful spiral works around the edges. It's so cool. And now guys, you could do some reinforcement here. Okay. And I will do some reinforcement and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and after I did some reinforcement around my edges, what I'm going to do is take two seed beads and I'm going to take my ear wire. Slide those down like this. And you see where I'm exiting out of here. Okay. Then in my next step, I will go through these two beads like that and pull. Then I will go through this black bead here. And I want to reinforce this to stay nice tight, nice and tight. Okay, and in order to do this, I will go back through this black one here at the back row of my spiral. Then here again. Okay, and after I reinforce this part several times, now it's time to find a place and make a knot. And in order to make a knot, I will go here inside my earring. And here I want to find a place to make a knot, let's say here, and I'm making here a loop, going once, going second time through this loop I've made, and I pull, then I go in my next seed bead, and what I want to do is cut this tail thread here. And now guys, my earring is ready.
Okay guys, and now my double spiral seed beads earrings are ready. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.